Hey everyone, I wanted to share with you how to create a heart block in Electric Quilt 8. So I'm going to walk you through each step. Um, feel free to pause if you need to take a minute to do this on your own computer. Um, this is really easy and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So I'm going to bring up my EQ8. You just click on I'm using a Mac, so um, things might be a little bit different if you are on a PC. So it may take a second to come up, and when it comes up, it's going to come up with this screen. And it asks you, what would you like to do? And I'm going to say, design. Um, you can do a quilt from scratch, a block from scratch. So we're going to design a block from scratch. <clears throat> it takes you to this page. And the great thing about EQ8 is it's really hard to uh, make a mistake. Or if you do, you can undo it. So we are going to go to this tab up here and you're going to hit draw. And I personally... It depends on the block I'm making, um, but I'm going to keep this at 6 by 6 and your snaps, horizontal and vertical, are 24 and 24. And that just means each point on here, um, there's 24 across and 24 down. So this makes it really easy, meaning each point is a quarter inch. And another thing to... Um, look at your block width and height. This is the finished size. So this is after you have sewn your blocks into, let's say, a quilt. They are going to measure six inches by six inches. So unfinished, they're going to be six and a half inches by six and a half inches. So to create our heart block, we are going to use our line tool. And Heart blocks are really easy because they're um, an easy shape that we're all familiar with. So you're going to look at the halfway point of your square, which would be three inches, and you're going to draw your block, or your line, excuse me. And another thing you want to make sure you have turned on is snap to grid points. So this means you can't just draw a line and have it go like in the middle of these two points, it's going to snap to one of these points. So I'm gonna take that line out and to do that, you just hit the pick button, click on it and hit delete on your keyboard. So I'm going to click my line again and um, the next step to make your heart block is you're gonna go down at the bottom and you're going to start at your bottom and we're going to make our bottom triangles. And to do that, we know that we need to make a half square triangle, which our square would be three inches by three inches, if that makes sense. So I, I put this line in here just to give me a guideline. I'm going to remove it in a second. And I'm going to draw a line from the three inches on this ruler to the three inches on this side of the ruler so it makes a nice diagonal line. Since I have that, I'm gonna pick that line and I'm gonna delete. And I'm just gonna zoom out. Um, over here are some more options you have. One of them is the zoom out button. And it just helps you see your block a little bit better. So now I'm gonna hit my line button again and I'm gonna draw my other line and I can see I can match it up because if you can see on the left side of your screen where your ruler is, it shows you exactly where you are, which is super helpful. And I'm going to bring up my triangle or my diagonal line up to the three. So now we have the bottom part of our heart block. So the next part is to draw our lines up here to create kind of the curve. Um, the heart block that we're drawing does not have any curved lines. It's super easy to piece. But if you wanted to, 
make a heart block with curved lines, there is an arc tool that you can use. But for this block, we're going to use our line tool. And this is where you can get kind of creative in how curved you want your block to be. So let's say we want a really pointy top, which some people, I've seen heart blocks that have pretty, uh, they're pointed at the top. So if we wanted that, we would need to figure out what is the middle of this section, the uh, this side right here, which would be one and a half, which is this point right here. And then we would need to find our one and a half over here and we draw and we connect it. So we've created a corner square triangle on this side. So let's do another one over here. We're going to match it up. And then, like I said, if we're going to create a really pointy heart, we're going to draw another corner square triangle on the inside part and another one on this side. And that creates this type of heart block. But I don't really love how pointy, I don't love the pointed heart look as much as I love it having more of a rounded top. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to pick these and delete them. So I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm just going to play with it and do, let's just do a one inch on this side. And I'm going to actually go a little bit smaller on this side. So it's three-fourths of an inch, I believe, on our ruler. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I just want to point out, using your rulers over here and up here is super important to make sure you have everything symmetrical. So I need to line that up with that. Okay, so this heart looks a lot better to me. So we're done drawing our heart, so we want to save this block. So to save it, we're going to go over here and hit the plus to add our project to our sketchbook. We're going to hit OK, and it's going to bring up this box. And I'm just going to save this to my desktop, and I'm going to call it Heart Block. And I have learned um, <laughs> through making so many projects, it's important to be specific about each project. Um, so I'm even going to go further and put Heart Block Tutorial 2019. That way I know exactly what it is when I'm looking for it in the future, and I'm going to hit Save. And that's going to save it. So that is how you create a block. Um, I will do another tutorial on how to take your block and make it into a quilt. So that will probably be in about a week or so. So be sure to look for that next week.